Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the five steps in order for you to finally start your photography business. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Heather and I am from thebookphotographer.com. I put out content every single week to help photographers like you attract their deal, dream clients, get booked, and finally create their dream photography business. So whether you're brand new or you've been in the industry for a while, if you want to become fully booked, go ahead and click the subscribe button. All right, so let's dive in to today's topic, how to officially start your photography business in five simple steps. Step number one, you need to have the gear. Obviously, if you want to start a photography business, you have to have a camera and also a lens or two. Now, I'm also gonna warn you and tell you to not go overboard here. You do not need to spend 10, 15, or $20,000 in gear. In fact, when I first started my photography business many years ago, I had a consumer grade camera and also a $200 lens that I got off of Amazon. And I used that to build my six-figure studio. I'm gonna to suggest to you that it is more important that you learn how to use whatever camera you have in manual mode. So click that baby off of auto, learn what f-stop means, learn what shutter speed means, learn ISO and how all of those interrelate with one another. Learn how to use the camera that you have in front of you and learn how to use light in order to create a perfect photo without all the fancy schmancy gear because it's just not needed. Obviously, you just need something that's reliable and will take a good photo, but you are in charge of your camera and you have more power to create that photo rather than the gear itself. Step number two in order to officially launch your photography business is to create a vision. Now, this is also called a business plan, but I personally like the word vision a little bit better. There's actually a really great proverb. It's one of my favorites. It says, a man without a vision perishes. Now, this is so applicable to us photographers as we grow our business. If you want any kind of success in your business, you have to be super clear on what you want to do and where you want to go. You have to be crystal clear about the amount of money that you want to make and the type of sessions that you want to have. So here's what I recommend with the photographers that I am blessed to work with one-on-one -on -one and also in my coaching programs. I ask them, how much money do you want your photography business to bring in every single month? I personally love working in 30-day increments because it's much more manageable than looking at the whole year in advance. So we'll stick with 30-day increments. So I asked them, how much money do you want to make in the next 30 days in your business? It could be $2,000, it could be $5,000, it could be $10,000. The point is, is to actually put a number on the amount of money that you want your photography business to bring in. Now from there, you also have to look at your calendar. How many sessions can you realistically work with and book and photograph in that given time without going crazy and feeling like you're running around with uh, your head cut off? So perhaps for your example, let's just say you want to make $5,000 in the next 30 days and you can realistically photograph five sessions. You just do a little bit of math here. Take your $5,000 30-day goal, divide it by how many sessions that you are able to photograph well, and you get your goal number for how much money that you need to have every single client pay you in order for you to reach your version of success. So in our example, we take $5,000, divide it by five sessions that we want to book, and we're left with $1,000 Per client and now you know going forward every single client that you book you know that it needs to bring in at least a thousand dollars each in order for you to hit your monthly goal now in addition to that financial goal and having that financial visit you also need to be crystal clear on the type of sessions that you want to work with do you want to primarily be a family photographer or maybe you want to photograph high school seniors like me or maybe you want to be a wedding photographer. There is no right or wrong answer here. The main point is to just be super specific and super clear about how much money you want and how you want to make that money and what types of sessions that you want to book. 
All right, so let's move on to step number three, and it's kind of a double whammy. Step number three is to build your portfolio and also build your network. You need to get in front of people. You need to have people in front of your lens in order to grow your business. Now, the best way that I know how to do this is to actually go out in your community, start meeting people, start talking to people, start going to weekly and monthly networking events, start getting to know other business owners, start getting to know other vendors, Get your face out there and build relationships with people. Now, one of the things that I did when I first started is I utilized a marketing strategy called model calls. And this strategy is so important that I'm actually going to be doing a whole video in the future about how to use model calls in your business and how to use that in order to book out your calendar. So if you want to get in on that, be sure to hit the bell button so you are notified when that becomes available. Step number four in order to start your photography business is to actually have a website. A website is so important. It is not enough to have your images just on Facebook. You need a website. When you think about it, your website is actually your storefront. When people are curious about working with you, it is a place that they can go, they can shop around, they can look at your images, learn more about you, and reach out to you about booking a session. Now, I know the whole topic of websites and building one is so massive in and of itself. So what I'm going to do for you is actually give you a free trial. It's actually not my free trial. I have a really great friend who created an awesome course all about creating your website. And if you want to get in on that free trial, go ahead, click the link that you see below this video, and you can build a website with her without all the tech headaches and the hassle and all the hoopla that comes with it. You could just build a beautiful, stunning website that will instantly connect and draw in your ideal clients. And before we move on to step number five, when you build a website, and you actually get the ability to work on something called SEO. Now that is just a way where you could be ranked higher in Google so that when somebody goes to Google to look for a photographer, your website will be one of the first ones that pop up. So building a website is essential if you want to book out your calendar with your ideal clients. So don't skip this step. Finally, we have step number five. Step number five in order to officially launch and start your photography business is to get legal. Now this step is the one that I see photographers procrastinate on so often. So I'm gonna break down this topic into three mini steps that you can take to move forward. Step number one in the get legal phase is to actually get a business license. All you have to do is go to business.gov, search for your state, and figure out what does your state require for you to have in order to run a business. Is it a permit? Do you need a license? Just go to business.gov, put in your state, and you can figure it out. The next thing that you need is insurance. Now, the last thing that you want to happen is to be at a session or at a wedding and have a client or somebody trip over your bag or your lighting gear and sue you. And also, you don't want to be at a session or a wedding and accidentally drop your camera and it shatters all over the floor. And then what are you going to do? Insurance will help you here. The main thing that you want to look for with insurance is to have coverage for your gear general liability, omissions coverage, um, and basically, and also basically malpractice insurance as well. There's a ton of options out there. You just need to have something in place so that it will protect you if something bad happens. And finally, the third step in this get legal phase is to actually have a contract. A contract is a simple agreement between you and the client you are photographing. It protects you and it protects them. It lays out everything in a nice fashion so that there's no disagreement, there's no unknowns. The best resource that I have seen when it comes to photography contracts comes from thelawtog.com. I'll also link that below so you can check it out as well. So there you have it, how to officially launch your photography business in five simple steps. Go ahead, let me know what you think of this video below, and if you have another business or photography related question, post that too. You never know, I might answer it in a future video. And before you leave, be sure to like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.